What's up and welcome to Chopstick Travel Does Europe. This is our new series exploring this vast continent and all the fun things to do and delicious foods to eat. Today we are in Istanbul, Turkey. This is our first time here and we just arrived. We are super excited and ready to eat. We have a whole day planned ahead of us visiting some of the touristy sites but also eating some delicious food. So let's get started. So today here in Istanbul, it is six degrees, it is raining, it's not that nice out, but it kind of makes the city very picturesque and very beautiful. So for breakfast today, we are starting off our tour here in Turkey with just some really home-cooked uh, Balkan-style food. So we're at a place that's called a Lokantasi, and that's like a very home-cooked, uh, just tons of different dishes. They've got little pots of all kinds of different things, lots of stews, lots of meats, and you can just kind of point and choose whatever you want. So we've got three really good-looking dishes here. So first off, right in the middle here, we've got a big chunk of chicken that is topped with cheese and it looks like it's in a little bit of like a gravy. And then back here, we've got the grape leaves. These are grape leaves uh, stuffed with, I think it's either gonna be rice, I'm guessing it's rice and maybe some meat, and then serve with a side of lemon. And then back here, we've got, this one looks really good to me. This is like a stew with, uh, it looks like a tomato-based stew with some potatoes, some uh, green peppers, big tomato on top there, and then these like little kebabs, so these minced meat kebabs, I'm not sure. It looks like maybe one of them's beef and one of them's chicken. And then served with the side of bread. This just looks super, super good and it smells nice and fresh, so let's dig in. Okay, let's dig right into this chicken. Feels like there's quite a bit there. Oh, and look at that. I did not expect that, but this is actually stuffed with vegetables. So look inside there, you can see all of those vegetables. I see peas, I see carrots, maybe some mushrooms in there. Oh man, I gotta get some of that. Was not expecting that. So let's try this. Oh, my mouth is watering. Oh man. Oh. That is super good. Oh, those vegetables are so soft on the inside. It's a little bit salty. It's actually a little bit spicy too. And then the cheese on top gives it a nice little kind of saltiness, cheesy deliciousness. Oh man. That is really good. Let's go for one more bite. That is a huge chunk of chicken. They definitely do their meat right here. Let's try that. Oh man. That is so juicy. So at these Lokantasis, you can get different hot dishes and cold dishes, and I believe that this one is going to be cold. So let's squeeze the lemon on first. Whoa, that's a juicy lemon. Let's see what it's going to be stuffed with. Okay, so it does look like it is stuffed with some rice. Let's try that. Mm. Wow, that is full of different flavors. The rice in there is really soft and chewy, and the grape leaf is almost pickled, so it's got a sour flavor, and then that that lemon juice on top is very sour. Mm. That was really good. Third and final dish is this nice looking kind of stew, so I'm gonna break a piece of one of these kind of meat kebabs and get a little bit of potato here maybe a little bit of tomato as well and oh man everything's so soft it's just kind of falling apart Let's see if i can get that all on my fork that is going to be a really big bite but i'm going for it oh yum the tomato is so tart it's really like a powerful tasting tomato really kind of encompasses the whole dish the potato is nice and soft and then that kebab has a little bit of a sweetness to it actually i'm gonna take some of this bread now and dip it right into that broth oh man this that's probably my favorite dish let's try that oh man soaks up that flavor super hearty and delicious 
So we went from 39 degrees Celsius weather in Malaysia straight to Turkey today. Yeah, it's like six degrees. There were some snow flurries this morning, so it's a bit of a shocker to the system, <laughs> but it's really nice actually to have a change from all that heat. So we have made it up to the Grand Bazaar. This is a super famous, if not the most famous site in Turkey. And it's right behind me. You can see the gate. This has been around for a really long time and you can find all kinds of different things inside like jewelry, handbags, perfumes, tons of different things. And you can practice your haggling skills inside. So let's go in. favorite things about this bazaar are all of the tea cups available. They're sparkly, they're designed really well, and I would like to pick some up hopefully before we leave. This place is like a maze. A lot of it is just kind of tourist trinkets, but there is everything here. Barbershops, restaurants, um, jewelry stores, banks, everything you could ever imagine. And it is just a network of these alleyways that don't really make any sense they're just kind of turning every once in a while you come to a dead end and it's just very very unique there are a couple restaurants inside here i think we're going to try one i don't know what to expect if it's going to be any good or not but uh the thing is we can't find our way there so we're actually just trying to smell it and then uh, let our noses lead the way so the restaurant that we picked is serving probably Turkey's greatest gift to the world of food and that is donor kebab. We've got our uh, donor wrap here and he's got a massive thing of lamb meat. This is like spiced lamb meat on a vertical split and it's cooking on wood fire. So that's part of the reason why I decided this place looked pretty good because he's using wood fire to cook this. Uses a massive sword to kind of thinly slice the lamb meat and then you pick how much you want based on the grammage. So you could pick 50 grams. This is a small one 80 grams and 100 we picked the 80 grams and then it's served served you just like this so you can see all that beautiful spiced lamb meat on the inside looks like there's some veggies and stuff too I'm just gonna take a big bite I see a pickle in there as well so let's try this out mm. So that wrap on the outside is actually quite dry, which isn't really good. And it's not the juiciest meat ever. I'm sure this isn't the best kebab that we're gonna eat on this trip to Turkey. But I do like that there's a nice dill pickle in there. It gives it a nice kind of sour crunch. And the meat is pretty good. It has a nice lamb flavor, but it's just not as juicy as I'd hope. And I don't really like this wrap, particularly on the outside. Let's try one more bite though. Mm. It's a little bit dry. So we're not actually sure why so many local people are eating here. It doesn't taste that good. Kind of reminds me of a chicken snack wrap from McDonald's. There's also uh, french fries inside, which uh, kind of makes it more dry. So it's not, not my favorite, but it's all right. So not the best lunch ever. Um, right inside the Grand Bazaar, you can kind of expect that it's catering mostly to the tourists. But that's okay, we've got some other donor kebabs picked out that we're going to be filming in some more episodes here in Istanbul. So now we are heading to a little cafe to get some tea and to warm up. So we're inside this little cafe now where you can have tea and coffee and also shisha from a hookah, which is a water pipe. It's kind of like a traditional Turkish thing to do when you're inside these cafes. And this cafe is really cool. It's kind of tucked away inside this little alleyway. It's warm, it's all covered. We got fish tanks behind us and actually our tea's coming right now. Chai? Yes. Apple chai. Ah. Apple. Apple? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, as Sabrina mentioned, we're just about to smoke some shisha. What shisha is, is a flavored kind of herbal tobacco. I don't recommend to do it, but 
you know, when in Turkey, do as the Turks do. <laughs> also, right outside this little cafe, they were selling some fresh roasted chestnuts. So we have a nice little bag of chestnuts here. And actually, these are pretty big chestnuts. I'm gonna break this one open. Thought we'd get another little snack to enjoy with our shisha and our tea. Let's try this out. Mm. Oh, it's sweet, very sweet. I am a little bit smoky, nice and soft. So this is apple tea. Now we've never tried this before and we are really excited to try it out. It was recommended that we try it along with the shisha and it smells amazing. It's so fragrant. It actually smells like hot apple juice. So let's give it a try. Oh my God. Whoa, that is so flavorful and hot. Wow, that is perfect. That is so tasty. Okay, this apple tea just blew my mind. It tastes so flavorful. It's like a hot apple cider, a little bit sweet, a little bit sour, and nice and warming on this cold day. So we just got served our hookah. You can see this big kind of like staff thing that you smoke out of here. It's pretty uh, beautiful actually. And then over here is our hookah. You can see the hot coals on top and then the shisha tobacco is underneath the tin foil there. So I'm gonna try it out. Mm. Oh, it tastes really good actually. We got the apple mint, so it definitely does have a little bit of like a refreshing sort of menthol minty flavor to it. And then I can taste a little bit of apple. It almost tastes like the apple tea too. It's good. Finished off with our Turkish cafe experience. That was a lot of fun. Even if you're not into smoking the shisha, you should still go to this place to check it out because it's really cool. And also you gotta try that apple tea. That was absolutely delicious. So now we are heading to check out one of the most famous sites in all of Istanbul. So we have come to make a quick stop at the Blue Mosque, which is right here behind me. It's a beautiful blue mosque, still functional. Travelers are allowed to come after prayer time and it is free to enter. So it's definitely a must see when you're here in Istanbul. We are gonna head to something that's right beside this place, the Hagia Sophia Museum. So let's go check that out. So behind me is the Hagia Sophia Museum. It is an extremely important and historical building for Turkey and the rest of the world. It was built between the year 500 and 600, and for 900 years it was a church, and then it was converted into a mosque, which has now been converted into a museum. So if you do go inside, you'll see relics from the church, relics from the mosque, and all kinds of information about its tumultuous history. It is an extremely cool, part of Turkey's history. So both of these two major sites, the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia, are right in the same area. You can actually see them both. They're looking directly at each other, but um, we're not gonna go inside either of them. There's a huge line for the mosque, and then it's, I think, 90 lira to go into the museum, and it's actually just about to close. So I think instead, we are going to take off and head to get some dinner. We are on our way to the restaurant for dinner tonight and we are in this really busy market packed with people and it just smells like spices and coffee in here and I think the restaurant's just up ahead. Is that beef or? Lamb. Oh, yeah. Uzbekistan. Oh, yeah. Uzbekistan. Oh, yeah. Uzbekistan. Oh, Tashkent? Tashkent. Nice. Brad, Pachaman. Nice. 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 N
We are inside the restaurant now. This is a really tiny restaurant directly inside the market. They have some outdoor seating, some indoor seating, and they have all kinds of different meats grilled meats so we ordered up two different uh, chicken cheese kebabs and they're grilling them on charcoal in the back all the guys here are really friendly I was just chatting with them a little bit and these guys are actually from Uzbekistan from Tashkent so they are bringing their uh, Uzbeki style cuisine here to Istanbul so we ordered that up and then I spotted they have a dessert that we're gonna order after dinner <laughs> So our food has arrived. This is just a beautiful looking plate. Let me move this piece of bread away here and you can see our beautiful piece, huge chunks of grilled chicken, grilled right on charcoal, and those look super juicy. We've got a big green pepper here, nice and charred. Another uh, tomato, some onions with cilantro. It looks like a little bit of chili pepper on there. It's just a little bit of, uh, of lettuce underneath there. And then you can see all this. This is just cooked uh, pilaf barley, and it looks like it was kind of cooked with some spices. And then, of course, served with our bread, which is nice and toasty warm. And on the side here, we've got a dip. And this is like a dip of of, it looks like all kinds of different ingredients. I see some cucumbers in there, carrots, um, probably some onions, some tomatoes, and I'd imagine there's maybe vinegar or lemon juice in there as well. So let me just go in. I'm just gonna grab a piece of my bread here and eat a piece of this chicken with it. So break off a piece of bread and grab a piece of chicken here. Oh man, check that out. That is some seriously juicy, succulent looking chicken. Let's try that. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's cooked perfectly. Perfect little crispy bits on the outside, but then the inside is so ridiculously juicy. Just check that out. You can see the juice is dripping from that chicken, and then that bread kind of absorbs all that juice. Look at that. Oh man. Let's go for one more bite. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a little bit of the veggies here. Don't have too meat, too much meat today, but that might happen to you when you're in Turkey. So let me get some of this uh, mixture of onions and chili, and tomato, and some of that pilaf barley. Oh man, everything's so smoky, and I love the tomatoes here. They're so tart and juicy. That is really good. Okay, one more bite. Let's try to get some of this sauce here. And I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna be too spicy. You said it would be a little bit spicy, but I'll put some on my chicken here. Okay, it's not too much. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. It's definitely not too spicy. It's got a little bit of a sourness. I think there's probably some lemon juice in there and it's cold, but it's crisp with all those veggies in there. That is really good, and our tea has arrived. This is perfectly cooked just the way I like it. The chicken is super juicy, just like Luke said, but I'm gonna try this, the charred chili pepper. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Nope, not spicy at all. That's actually just charred to perfection. It's nice and soft, really complements the chicken. Oh. So for dessert, we ordered what this restaurant is actually most popular for, and that is called knefe, and that is this here. It is a pastry sort of thing that has been fried, and it is made with semolina flour, and then tons of cheese. There is just a ton of white cheese underneath there, and then all that green on top here is pistachios. So you can see it's got this kind of crispy exterior, tons of pistachios, and then it's cooked right inside of this on charcoal. So let me just give this a try. I have never tried this before, and it looks just too good. That is so good. 
Whoa. That is not what I was expecting at all. That is seriously good. That might be like my favorite, new favorite dessert. It is like creamy and cheesy, but it's very sweet and crispy on the outside. And then all those little pistachio crumbs give it a nice kind of nuttiness and a crunch. That just blew my mind. My first time trying Bonefe, and that was so good. I gotta go for another bite here. Oh man, check that out. Just check that out. Holy moly. That is seriously delicious. Oh man. So this dessert is certainly interesting. It's almost like syrupy as, as you chew it. And it cannot be good for you, not at all. Okay guys, we are finished off with dinner and that was a perfect way to end our first day here in Istanbul. We are going to be here for the next few days and expect a couple more videos from Turkey. We are loving this place already. It is packed with delicious foods. So if you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>